This is the Try Guys 2018 year in review where we're gonna talk about every amazing, special, hard thing that happened this year. Tell me about the hard things. Oh, we're gonna everything was hard. We're gonna sip tea and dish. Oh wow. This year has been the most exciting, exhausting, demanding year that I have ever had in my life. This year was so hard. I can safely say this is probably the busiest year of our lives. I can definitely say that. It's also been the most rewarding, but along the way, there have been a lot of unforeseen challenges. People also don't know, um, my contract ended two months before y'all's. So I was out of BuzzFeed and couldn't talk about it for yeah. two months. You guys remember that? I remember. Right? I had to From stay quiet on social February media. February to April. Mm -hmm. And then there was another two months before we launched the channel. So we were not making videos and people started to notice, but you know, we didn't want to announce anything until we had something to announce. Yeah. Our last videos came out in January and we didn't launch the channel till June. So all of those six months, it was just, what's going on with the Try Guys? And we were like, we don't know either. Uh, my parents were so worried. My parents thought it wasn't gonna work. I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. We're gonna go gay bus tonight. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, why the f are you quitting something that gives you a full-time salary and health insurance? Our top Google result for that time was uh, our Try Guys. Straight. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then the second was, did Try Guys break up? before we actually launched, it was the most stressful for me. And then, my wife goes into labor. And, oh God, oh God, still don't have health insurance. Uh, now all of a sudden, I wasn't just making a new channel for me, I was starting a business to provide for my family. Hashtag Feed Wes is real. You've told us about, like, how low your bank balance got and stuff like that, but in the process, you never showed cracks. Oh, thanks, man. Except so. for that one that you're sitting on. Hey. By leaving BuzzFeed, we still have a great relationship with them. We yeah, love all the work we did with them. The big thing for me, and I think for all of us, was you know contractually, you are obliged to do everything with them. Eugene got cast in a movie, which is awesome. Ned had a baby, which is even more awesome. And Zach and I were like, well, I'm probably the least qualified. And tried to hire a really good staff that could help us. What's up, everybody? These are our PAs, Casamobi and Miles. I consider myself the fifth try again. OK. Our, our editor, right. Devlin. Our production coordinator. Our producer, Rachel. That's our studio. We've just been filming, working, nonstop. It's certainly the most stressed that I've ever been. All of that was leading up to, I think, one of the biggest moments of the year, which was our actual channel launch. To discuss more about the aspects going into that, we want to bring in our first special try guest. Our producer, Rachel Cole! Yeah. Come on down! Over here, over here. So Rachel was the very first hire of the Tri Team. What were your uh, first impressions of each guy? Um, well, Ned I knew. Rachel worked on the uh, branded series where we bought a house. Keith I first saw at Ned's baby shower and he was in a diaper. Please welcome the Ring Baby! He's in a diaper? At that point, you didn't meet Keith. His you experienced, yeah. you experienced Keith. Yeah. And then Eugene I knew a little bit about because a director friend of mine had worked with him on a commercial. And I thought of you as more of like an actor. Because you saw me in a diaper and you didn't think of me as an actor? <laughs> <laughs> and the first time I met Zach, I think was for my interview with you guys. And he had just come from the dentist and had like a gauze <laughs> and a bloody tooth. And I was like, shouldn't you be at home? And you were like, I'm fine. I'm just going to make some tea. So after those stellar first impressions, what made you want to work with us? I thought I'd be working with you guys and collaboratively. Can somebody zip me? Would you be a deer? Ha! <laughs> Which has turned out to be very, very true. I will say, the first two things we filmed together were gourmet garbage with McDonald's and then eat the menu Taco Bell. And this taco is the bell of the ball in the bucket. And then candy competition, cakes. Yes. We only did one person food videos in the beginning. Uh -huh. Happy birthday. Big, big boy. Big, big boy. Not that those videos aren't great, but I'm really in- Whoa, Rachel, whoa. I'll have you know that candy competition has a fervent fan following and people are writing to get it uncanceled. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure I've canceled it twice. I'm so
By the time this video comes out, we have exceeded more than half of the, the, the products that we released under BuzzFeed. Like over four years, we released about 120 videos. I think by the time this one comes out, we were, we'll be well over 60, yeah. right? That's crazy. Yeah. People always ask me when I tell them the story, like what would your name have been? And I'm so grateful that we're still the Try Guys because I hated every other alternative. The doo dudes, the <laughs> attempt acids, you know, like the guys. K-N-Z-E, is, is it K-N-Z-E? Is it Kenzie? Is it Knuz? Who, is it Nose? Who knows? The attempt bros. I really don't want to work with the doo dudes. Well, <laughs> neither do say. we, neither do we. Also, congratulations. Oh yeah. She pregnant. Making some try babies. Wes needs friends. We don't friends. just hire people. <laughs> We make them. <laughs> we make them. <laughs> we should clarify, none of us were involved in the making of uh, Rachel's us. Child. Yes. But they will work for us. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Casimobi! Yay! Hello! Hi, Casimobi! Hi! One of your first big projects was to help make our VidCon show happen. Yeah. What was that like? That was nuts. <laughs> Big Con and welcome to your closing night finale performance. Rachel calls this like frantic all hands like, okay, so we're doing a thing for VidCon. There's about like 80,000 pages of script and we got these few pages of props we need to get and everything has to be set and there's cues and there's video segments we're gonna shoot and there's also like live things the guys need to rehearse so we need to book spaces for that and also get costumes for that. At one point, you couldn't really see the floor of this whole area now because it was covered in giant boxes of fake money, a whole box of cats. Um, yeah, my search history is because <laughs> of all the random stuff I had to look up. VidCon was particularly important because it was kind of in line with are we the Try Guys or not? And once we launched the channel, we were just like, yes, we're going to VidCon. We had to put the show together. I kind of took on the responsibility of just writing and putting the staging of the show together. We wanted to make a statement. You uh, made it. Because we didn't have a lot of money, a lot of the props uh, we made and you made. Yeah, uh, we didn't make shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favorite props is the deal with it sunglasses in one of the video clips. We just had it really like <laughs> jankily like float down onto Keith's face so you can see people's hands at the corners of the screen. Right. I was really proud of that. That's that's a casting movie original. That was that was me. <laughs> you quickly realized that we like pouring everything we have into what we do, and we really appreciate it that you do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have one thing I want to say about Cassie Moby that the world does not know. Cassie Moby never stops eating giant bowls of green things. But you, did you know how many greens you're supposed to eat in a day? All of them. It's you're like, supposed to eat them all. Yeah. Until you can't stop eating greens, and she does it. Also, for as much as Cassie Moby loves leaves, she hates celery. Yeah, I think uh, celery tastes like the devil's armpit. Wow. And you can at me. Strong words from a strong person. Thank you, Cassie Moby. And don't you also hate pickles? Yeah. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Cassie Moby. Yeah. I will Devlin and YB. Hi. Hey. 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 Welcome to our living room. I don't think people know how much work we put into the edit. Our videos uh, two weeks on average? One more lucky. lucky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will, you have to finish every video. Yes. Which is a Herculean task. Well, for the DUI series, it was definitely a Herculean task. I worked some six day weeks, I worked some long days. It was just like, every day was very stressful. And so, I'm thrilled that it's done. <laughs> that was he loves it also, here. Uh, Love it here. <laughs> he loves it here. You turn like the brightest shade of red yeah. in a split second. I hope it does help people. I read the comments with a lot of people on the high video being like, I drive high every day. This doesn't change my mind at all. So was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Will. What was your favorite video to work on? I think it would have to be the little girl makeovers. Mm. How would you describe my outfit? Like you're in high school. Oh, thank you. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yep. Yeah. What do we know that hey, from? Trolls. From trolls. I felt like I forced you guys to put my niece and my girlfriend's niece no. in the video. We loved that. They're so good. Uh, my favorite was probably also the little girl makeovers. I think it's super cute and fun, and I'm surprised it doesn't have more views, honestly. Uh, you know, get out there, watch it if you haven't. It's fun, it's a funny video. You're gonna make Will upset. <laughs> and you don't want him to get red again. <laughs> you better <laughs> watch that video. Dude, by the way, oh, this over Thanksgiving, I watched the Trolls movie. It rules. 
I hear people like it, but I hear those people are six. <laughs> <laughs> My first video was a nail extension video, and it was really fun, but also, you know, when you're, it's your first day of work, and they're like, okay, have a cut in three days. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> that was quick. You know, I feel like whenever I have like quicker turnarounds, I get more pressure, so I edit quicker. So maybe it is better for me. Because you're say, Korean. Maybe because I'm Korean. <laughs> Can I just say, I'm like sitting in the bottom of this frame, and I don't know where to look, and I'm very, like, I can't turn around. Oh, don't, don't worry, know. Zach. Your face looks totally normal <laughs> as you sit there like... Zach, we've adopted you as our Jewish son. Uh, <laughs> reverse adoption. The uh, Asians adopt the white. <laughs> Have you ever had the, I'm sure, all too common experience where you got footage from us for something and you just started shaking your head? The 14 hour labor video oh, no. where it took a while to like, you know, go through and actually realize uh, that I was staring at Ned's butthole. <laughs> For for a week, <laughs> you gotta get the goat seat. Y'all ready to bring in our production manager? Yeah! Come on over here, Alexandria. Alexandria. Yay! Alexandria. 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 Hello. Welcome. Hello. You've known us for a while. I met you at BuzzFeed, and the first video we ever did together was when you guys swam with sharks in Florida. Uh, I was actually a really big Try Guys fan before I worked with you, so I was really excited to do the video. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what was your favorite video up until that point? Probably the ones where you guys tried on the sexy Halloween costumes. That's where wow. I really got into it. And who was your favorite Try Guy? We can move on, we'll come back to it. <laughs> Recently we hosted the Streamies. Now aside from managing like all the day to day with our production, you also did a lot to make sure that that went swimmingly. And you guys put it all together very quickly. You just started rehearsing the week before the show. Keith did the, wrote the music and I did the choreography and it was all basically felt like last minute. And it all turned out perfectly and it was really cool to see you guys all in your element and choreographing and writing songs. It's a really, really fun experience. There was some, I guess like gripes about previous years where the roasting was a little too heavy on the honest members so we weren't allowed to be mean funny which is really hard to do and not look totally lame a toast to liza koshi who is nominated for creator of the year and whose career is so far ahead of ours that it really just makes us sad to sit around and try to write a joke you're like we don't want you to say the word boner in the script we don't want it to be too low brow but we love the goat scene it's so fun and fresh instead of no one's getting a boner i got to say no one's ding dong is dancing that seems more graphic to me yeah it's Far more visual. So the night of the show, you got to attend the streamies and see the show. What was that night like? It was a pretty magical night. I've never, it was quite magical. I had never been to an award show before and it's only something you see on TV. I feel like you guys all really killed it. And then seeing Eugene come out and drag was very surprising and amazing. And then I remember at the after party, who was it that we saw and I embarrassed you? Blog you. Okay. Yeah. You yes, were standing so next pretty big. Who's Blog Squad? And they all were like walking by us. And I, I just didn't know who they were. I'm just too old. And they're all surrounding us. And Miles just looks at me like, Alex, shut up. They're all around us. <laughs> Blowing you. You know, the only thing I remember from the after party is right when I walked in, you walked straight to me and say, Eugene. Shots. I feel like you said that to me. You know what? Yin and yang, it's the same same difference. Alexandria is really great at her work. She's done wonderful things for our company, but she's also number one going out party queen. I'll We're take it. One time Alexandria convinced me to do so many tequila shots <laughs> that uh, That was in Miami. Vomited squid ink pasta. That wasn't my nice. fault. We had squid ink pasta at dinner. I didn't like it, so he ate his and my plate. So he had about two pounds of squid ink pasta. Mm -hmm. in his stomach. As one does, when in Miami. Ned is taking a shower. He's vomited black pasta everywhere. It looks like he's rejecting pasta. venom. And then he couldn't find a towel, so he comes out with a hand towel, just only barely covering his package. He passes out face first on my bed with, his with the hand towel, hand towel, out. just like half covering his bare ass. I had covers oh, on, didn't I? No! I, I covered you at some point. The takeaway here is that we're professional, but we also like to have fun. Yeah, yeah we, work we work hard, hard and play harder. Yeah. Miles von Signore. Miles von Signore. It's been noticed that if anything horrible, God forbid, God forbid if anything horrible were to happen to Keith, we have a very suitable replacement in Miles. Let's throw on some glasses. 
We'll trim the hair, and I think we're good. You better watch your back, Habersberger. I would like him to already start being in all my wide shots, so I can just come in for the close-up jokes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Even if nothing happens to Keith, I mean, we can still add another member to this ensemble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what, Miles? Maybe do a five guys, I, burgers I and fries. I have thought the one you thing that this needs is one more white dude. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. So some exclusive 2019 news. Try Guys are actually gonna have a podcast that we're launching. It's called The Tripod. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny. So we've been doing some test episodes over on patreon.com slash tryguys. You can go listen to all those episodes. But in the new year, we're gonna have a tripod once a week and Miles is kind of our, our pod detect, our architect of the pod. Pod-tex, He's our yeah. podcast produce. Uh, we talked about it a couple months ago and we had a shed out back. As soon as I saw the shed, I was like, you know, I want us to sit in that shed <laughs> and, and, talk. and talk. We're a small but mighty team, but we are growing. And I think that part of what we're aiming for is, we say production assistant loosely, because eventually Miles and Casamobi are also gonna be making creative content. And we want to sort of reflect our philosophies with new young creatives, anyone out there who might eventually be interested in working with us. It's a possibility. And so Miles kind of taking the, the helm on the podcast was a good example of someone who just knew what he was doing because I had no idea. Go listen to the tripod. Also, Miles, I love this shirt that you're wearing. Where, where, can, they, where can the fans get those? Uh, you can go to tryguys.com slash Miles merch. Okay, no, that's not, <laughs> you know what? It's just tryguys.com. Use the discount code. Just try, no, the internet no, darling. No, we did not do that. Uh, we should really have an internet darling discount <sighs> code. I mean, hey, I mean. Um, it's not a terrible we'll idea. We'll see, Miles. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we have to cut. Thanks, Miles. <laughs> <sighs> what a year it's been. Yeah. It was a new challenge, and through new challenges, you have new triumphs, and that was really exciting. You thought this year was big, mm -hmm. 2019. Even bigger. No, I mean, this, this year was super stressful for us, and it was crazy quitting the BuzzFeed and going out around starting our own independent company, and we really appreciate all of your support. Going independent showcased how invested and passionate you, the fans, are, and that was really the most moving thing about 2018. What I learned in 2018 is that Triceratops cis. Triceratops? Mm -hmm. Cis. Triceratops is just the general term. Like fish. Triceratops go hard. Mm. They go hard. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What will we try next? I feel like you have to say it. What will? You gotta do the finger. That is literally the net effect. I want Will to take us out. Let's unboard the butthole, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Loose cannon over here. <laughs>